Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 6th of May 2021. We've had a small patch released for DCS World Open Beta. This is 2.7.0.5659 and we've had some significant changes to the Harrier. Two changes in fact, we're going to split this in two. First, we're going to look at the fact that we can now designate a target from gunfire or rocket fire. The second half of the video will look at the changes to this TDC action, no action functionality, which is very important, so please watch that also. We've got a Harrier here armed with rockets, gun, and a dumb bomb. First, very simply, let's use a gun. So, air to ground mode, master arm on, stores page, gun, ready to go. Keep the revs up in the engine, otherwise the gun won't fire, which always catches me. Put the reticle on the target, as we all know, wait until we're in range we best do then we're going to pull the trigger when we're in range fire and pause as well as firing with the ccip pq we've now created a target diamond and we can see we now have a target designated 0.5 miles away so let's go and retry that with rockets and let's see how that could be useful a little bit closer i'm going to fire these out of range on purpose just to sh show you proof of concept there okay I'm now going to active pause. I fired a rocket and it's also created the target point. Now I can do something with that target point. What if I wanted to go and drop a bomb in auto with the new method of designation in the Harrier as of version 2.7? Well, I would select my bomb, make sure we're in auto, and we are. I would change my fuse. Next, I would go through to my ESHD. The next thing we must do is press and hold waypoint increment for over one second. I know I keep showing you this, but I'm trying to drum it into all of you. Press and hold. You can see waypoint one has now turned to T0. We've now transferred the target information from the Harrier's weapon system to the ESHD nav system as target point zero. And now if we press Des G, ping, we've now got our auto bombing symbology and we can go and drop a bomb on that target. Here we go, 11 seconds. And bomb away on that target. And you can see I fired the target miles off, but you get the point there. So that shows that firing of the cannon at the ground and firing a rocket at the ground at a legitimate CCIP point on the terrain will create a target point. And if you want, you can then transfer that over to the nav system to do, for instance, auto bombing. Next, we're going to look at the revised function for the TDC action, no action. Really important and hard to get your head around. So main menu, options, special, Harrier, whoops, Harrier. This option here, if it's unticked, we have not enabled action, no action TDC. If it's ticked, we have enabled action, no action TDC. Now this is gonna become quite a complex video. So for simplicity, we're gonna call that mode there, special mode unticked. That there, special mode ticked. With special mode unticked, it means that if we use a slewable sensor like a DMT or a T-Pod, when we slew the sensor around and then release the slew, it will automatically create a target point at that point. We can then slew it again. It will recreate a new target point at that new slew point. If special options ticked, then it will not automatically create a target point once you finish slewing. You will have to do that manually by pressing the TDC down function. Another complication, when special option is unticked, then whenever you fly the Harrier, it will always be unticked and you cannot change it. Weirdly, when it's ticked and you're flying the Harrier, we've got an extra control that I'll show you in a minute that can essentially untick it once you're in the Harrier and tick it in the Harrier. It's a toggle function we've got. We've got to get our head around that. We'll start with unticked. Next, we've got to look at controls. Harrier, the controls we'll be using are to create target, TDC down. Now this toggle that we talked about here, TDC action, no action toggle. What this does is assuming that we've got our special option ticked, when we are in the plane, we can toggle that special option to be ticked or unticked. Weird, I know, but that's how it is. Finally, the slew options for aft, forward, left and right have actually for me stopped working properly and this has caused me a vast amount of problems when using my teapot and DMT. So until that gets fixed, and it should do soon, I'm sure, You've got to use your axis to slew your DMT and your T-Pod, uh, which is going to be in here. And, you know, you set them up with an axis like that. Will not work at the moment without an axis. It might for some people. It's just it doesn't work for me. So that's a rough description of the modality of the function and the controls. Let's jump in a plane with special options unticked. So we're going to go to air to ground mode here. 
we're going to bring up our DMT on the right screen with sensor select switch aft and aft again we are now on the DMT and the DMT soy sensor of interest as default the DMT will be slaved or fixed to our velocity vector which is this guy here and we know that's the case because it's got a little circle in it there now whenever I move around you can see the DMT looks wherever the velocity vector looks okay let's repause there watch what happens if I now slew the DMT somewhere and stop slewing we've created a target point the target point is 4.4 miles watch what happens if I slew somewhere else that target point gets redesignated 5.6 nautical miles that's the basic action of using the DMT with special option unticked let's go and repeat the same thing in the teapot so sensor select switch twice so a double press brings up the teapot and makes the teapot soy exactly the same thing but just to make this completely fair we're going to press nose wheel steering to get rid of our current target there done that you can see our target's gone we're back to waypoint here we can see that our teapot by default is slave to the velocity vector the same way that the dmt was now remember if we we're in slave velocity vector we can't just slew it away from that slave like we did in the dmt instead we're going to double press sensor select switch again double press we're now in snowplow mode from which we can slew and this is a bit complicated but this is how it is so we're going to slew now la 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 stop slewing and it creates a target move it about creates a target 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 okay that's the basic use of the teapot now let's go and shake things up main menu options special harrier special options ticked air to ground mode we're going to get our dmt now watch this as i slew and move about and leave it it does not automatically create a target point let's do that again a target point is not created and if i unpause it's also not ground stabilized when you create your target is when you also ground stabilize that you know representation of the uh, dmt is that box there so let's just pause that again so we've got lots of talking time so to create the target now we have to press tdt down that's the target created there and if i unpause it's now ground stabilized that's a primary difference between these two options but here's a cool thing if i'm in the harrier and i've got special options ticked what if i wanted to be unticked well what i can do is press nose wheel steering undesignate I've undesignated my target and reset my DMT here to my velocity vector. If I now press the toggle button we looked at earlier, I've now essentially unticked the special option box. Now watch as I slew down here. It's created a target because we're now in unticked mode. Now if I wanted to nose will steer to undesignate again, press toggle again, we're now in ticked mode. And if I slew down, it's not designating a target point and it's not stabilizing so that's showing the basic difference in the dmt also notice just a small thing that uh, one of our guys just found out that if we are slewing about in this mode in our dmt if you press and hold tdc down you get a different rate of slew i don't know if you care about that but it could be useful just try it out for yourself you'll see the difference it feels like about i don't know 30 percent faster and finally Let's show the same thing with our teapod. So we're going to undesignate with nose wheel steering. We are going to, in fact, let's just start fresh is probably the best. Air to ground on. Uh, SSS double press to get the teapod in action. And we're just going to see repeat of what we kind of saw before. So I'm going to start slewing this teapod from snowplow mode. And you can see it doesn't create a target point. And if I unpause, it's not ground stabilized. Now what I can do, interestingly, is undesignate with nose wheel steering. I've sent it back to slave velocity vector. Now double press again of SSS, puts us to snowplow. Now I'm going to press my toggle function to move it back to unticked mode and slew it about. Ta-da! Automatically creating a target point. So that showed the key differences of the ticked or the unticked action no action function from within the special options i hope i've cleared it up properly this time and also the fact that we can toggle from within 
the plane using an undesignate and then the toggle button. I hope that was useful and see you later.